Hello guys, it's Mickey. Um, thought I'd give you guys an update on my bad online shopping experience. Now today I got uh, the information I needed for my damaged product in order to use it legally in the state of Pennsylvania. And uh, I got all the paperwork and everything to make it legal, but I have no product. Um, it's still somewhere in distribution warehouse and I called the company and I advised them that I got the information for the product, um, but I can't do anything because I have no product. Um, a gentleman by the name of Mike, um, he's been the only person the only person dealing with me since March 8th trying to help me out with this issue. And I feel bad for him because sometimes I call and I'm edgy. And who wouldn't be? You order something back February 23rd. You get it delivered March 8th. It's completely damaged. You take pictures. You call the company. They give you information on how to file a complaint. I mean, not a complaint, but a warranty damage um, claim. Uh, you do the claim, you provide the evidence, and nothing. But I called at least once a week with the company, and the only gentleman that would help me is Mike. And I... I hope that he does not leave that company because he is a great asset to that company. Now, until this issue is uh, resolved in a positive manner, then I'll go more in depth with the name of the company and the damage of the product and the product itself. But until then, this is pretty much just a frustrating rambling series on bad online shopping. People, do your research. Check the Better Business Bureau. I, I mean, it sucks. It, I am so frustrated. And I'm at my wit's end because I have paperwork and documentation for something that I don't even own. You know, and and I've done the RMA. I've, I've done the warranty claim, the damage claim, and nothing. And today... The gentleman, Mr. Mike, uh, he verified that I have fallen through the cracks. I am in limbo. So now he he is going to attempt to try to contact an office in Texas, an office in California, and see where in limbo between Texas and California, where me and my product fall. And I hope that he is put in charge with, with sending me my replacement product. That way I can get this done and over with. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. My blood pressure is high. But it, I mean, this just takes it to a whole other level. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, <clears throat> what can you do? All you can do is just sit down and twiddle your thumbs, you know, and hopefully find somebody like that gentleman, Mr. Mike, to help you and be patient with you because it gets frustrating and it's their job. I used to do customer service and I know how it is to get a angry, angry, frustrated customer cussing you out. And, and all you're trying to do is your job. Uh, I haven't disrespected Mr. Mike because, like I said, it's a customer service job, customer representation job. They have to go above and beyond, which that is what he is doing. He's the only one going above and beyond to help me. So, Mr. Mike, if you happen to see this, I hope you, you know, pull some strings and do your job above and beyond like you've been doing lately and um, help me out because <laughs> I really need it. I would like to have my product, hopefully by the winter time. So I can, I can, I can at least uh, use it by then. So I'm going to end my rambling there. Um, the only thing I can say is be safe, be happy, and be loved.